welcome to Matt Bayeski YouTube channel. Yeah, do you want to see my t-shirt there? The new ones. <laughs> yeah, all sorts going on there. How are you doing? I don't even look at them. I just take a quick glance. I'll take that one. I'll take that one. Some people, I, I bought one where it was a skeleton in it and, and I never even saw a skeleton in it. <laughs> don't like skeletons for some reason, but yet they're part of our uh, space suit, right? <laughs> Anyway, today I'm going to talk about a beautiful crystal. I hope you enjoy this um, short video. I don't like to make them too long, uh, especially the uh, crystal videos. But let me dive straight into it. Have you ever heard of Shiva Stone? Yeah. Let me just get them. They might just fall a little bit. Say hello to Shiva Stone. Hey, they're rolling everywhere. Anyway, there you go. I'll just show you them. They're kind of an egg shape. And you can see the colours. Very, very beautiful. Nice grounding. And uh, that's what they are, actually. Grounding brown. With uh, a lovely, kind of creamy pale creamy color really nice really really beautiful and uh, some of the shapes are phenomenal uh, some of the the way the colors are they're gorgeous really 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 beautiful so here's one I got earlier <laughs> that was from a big chicken <laughs> how's that isn't that beautiful yeah fascinating Fascinating crystal, eh? <laughs> Love it to bits. It's a great stone. So I was introduced to this stone by uh, another healer a long, long time ago. And um, it was he gifted it me. And I was going through a process of, um, let's say, learning how to understand how um, spirit can enter into our energy and make us feel sometimes quite bad. Um, some people call them uh, psychic attacks, whatever you call it. I just say that this is a spirit wanting to come into our body for a certain reason. My reason was because the person that had come over to Spain to visit um, their family in the spirit world, or let's say trapped in between two worlds, whichever, um, it could, could be either or, came into me uh, but this was um, a, a darker energy this is a heavy energy so this was a spirit that didn't fully go into the spirit world so yeah trapped in between two worlds uh, but sometimes we have spirit uh, that is in the spirit world that comes into us to help heal us and make us feel strong and sometimes if we're healers when spirit comes into us to heal their family member it's an incredible feeling so many topics we could talk about I received one of these, a small piece, from somebody after I had an encounter with a certain man who wanted me to give a message to his mum um, in in this world, from uh, the uh, in between world, and it was a, a very challenging um, 24 hours for me, but it was one where I really learned something. The challenge wasn't a way that it ruined my life. It wasn't a challenge that uh, made me feel sick or want to kill myself or anything like that. Um, it wasn't, uh, it didn't feel like I was, I was possessed or cursed. It was just, let's say, hard. It was a hard work. It was irritating. It was challenging because I couldn't, I wasn't in control of my, uh, my mind, body and spirit. This, this spirit was getting stronger and stronger. So anyway, we cleared we cleared it away. A few, a few healers came together to help me. That wasn't the first occasion. And I got put into my hand a Shiva stone. And he said, this grounds, this makes you feel good and it'll make you feel uh, stronger. And it really does help with any kind of um, uh, entity or any kind of attack or any kind of... Um, uh, spirit wanting to, you know, give us messages which may be a little bit challenging and so on. He was being kind. I was going to stop at that particular moment because I didn't want to go through that again. But I realise now how important it was 
for my spiritual journey to encounter so many uh, aspects of um, spirit trapped in between two worlds. So I needed to go through it, but at the time I didn't realize, um, obviously, uh, Shirley knew and she said, look, Mark, how are, you, how are you ever to help anybody if you don't go through this? Anyway, it was fascinating. It's happened a few times, but hey, all good. I'm more worried about people out there on the street than I am spirit, let me tell you. So don't worry about it too much. So there you go. This crystal, what does it do? It certainly helps um, strengthen, balances you, helps you feel calm. It brings, a, without a doubt, it brings an energy around your body that is a protective energy. And it will help you if you feel that you are being attacked, spiritually speaking. If somebody's saying nasty things about you, you've got people who are trying to do stupid things, uh, curses, spells, all that nonsense. Wear a Shiva stone, you'll find that your frequency vibrates a very grounding and powerful frequency. Um, the effects of this stone, just holding it, you feel calmer, you feel more in balance and tune. I'm, I'm repeating myself because that's what the crystal actually does. Um, it helps you find your true purpose and path as well. So it keeps you on a good stable path to keep going in the direction you're meant to. So if you're lost and confused, this is a great crystal to wear because it really does help you along your journey. Spiritually speaking, if I'm talking of as a healer, I worked with this crystal for about a year and a half to two years. And in that time, I found that anybody who was suffering any kind of attacks, worries, fears, uh, phobias, anything like that, I'd just simply put it in their hand and it would make a massive difference. Anybody who felt that they were attacked by spirits, ghosts, I'd just tell them to wear it in their house or uh, on a night when they go to sleep. No issue at all after that. So it helped so many ways. So this crystal is a very, very special crystal in so many ways. You can uh, give it a try, go to your local crystal store and um, there's, there's actually quite a lot of different um, understandings about this crystal. But this was my take, this was my experience with this crystal. I'm sure you have your own um, wonderful, I have one particular friend who meditates with this crystal all the time. So it's great, it works really well, well with uh, uh, Rudrashka beads. <laughs> Mala beads. If you put them both together and meditate with them, you'll find it's a really good balancing energy. So that's another thing you can uh, try. Um, I'm just trying to think of, there was a guy called Jonathan who used to sun gaze and swear by it, by holding it in his hand. He had two pieces and he used to sun gaze and said it really helped. So that was another thing, what else? Uh, for me as a healer, when I'm working on clients, Stomach was always a beautiful place to lay it, right on the belly button, straight up at the top, uh, the crown chakra, and just uh, both sides of the head, brilliant places if you're going to sleep or you're meditating with it. Fabulous for that. Uh, it seems to really um, admit, a, 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 admit an energy that creates a kind of opening, so you feel more open but at the same time you feel protected so what comes in is more positive that's why that it's really good for meditation the right energy comes in the right feelings come in and the negativity goes out so a protector a cleanser a healer all of these things i really love this crystal i'm going to stick these on the website now and i only have the one big one that cost me a lot of money actually um but Hey, it might be just what you want as part of your collection. Have a great day. Take care.